seen KG around? Uh, I think he's inside, cutting his hair. You look very similar to him, by the way. I know, a lot Just of people like say he has that. A slash. Something like that, something yeah. like that. <laughs> what up, crew? I cannot do it in front of you. I feel so embarrassed. You will use this as your intro. Of me. What up, crew? Cool. <laughs> you always make fun of me. You always make fun of me. Alright, never mind. What up, crew? We are today. <laughs> <laughs> Good intro, bro. <laughs> Stop it. We're here at, at Somerset. Is it at, at, are you gonna edit the at, at away? <laughs> KG basically called me down yesterday saying that he's gonna join a trading card game competition. And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna come down and watch. The Pokemon card game, they're having a new release of new cards and basically they are holding a tournament here amongst whoever wants to join and then you get to see the new cards and you get to also, just now, did I find out that KG used to play this game competitively. And it's way more interesting than my StarCraft stories. Because he actually, he was part of a gym, guys. You go there and then uh, you can have a mini competition among yourself where you win rare cards. Like special holo foil cards and everything. And he had a gym leader. Do you have a badge? Do you have a badge? I have like, what is it? Iron patch on? Iron stick ons? Oh that you my get, god. Like, serious. You're such and a nerd. <laughs> How do you feel about today? You think you can win? Uh, honestly, I've not read the rules. I heard the rules change a little bit. The more rounds you win, mm. the better the price is. So you win a pack for each time round. So I'm hoping to at least win once to get additional pack. Can you explain like quickly how the game works? Okay, wait. I know that you need like Padomeda, EK. Is that one right? No! Okay, okay. It's not. Wait, or is it You're just saying that to get a reaction out of me right? yeah, yeah, shut yeah. up, you. <laughs> is it, wait, wait, wait. Is it the one where you black out halfway then a dark version of you talks to you? Yugi has that like pyramid right, you have your vlog camera there, you're six, 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 six. Basically, Thomas has something in his teeth but I have not told him the whole time since we We have to get it on camera, we have to get it on camera. do this. Okay, KJ asked me to turn on the camera again, what do you want to say? Am I like the only male friend that you go out with alone? Oh my god, it's a yes? Yeah, let me think, let me think. I don't think it's true. No, no, no. When, oh. I, when I was in US, no, 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 Singapore, Singapore. Tiong, Tiong. Sometimes. <laughs> I found out that Thomas always hangs out with girls one on one, different girls, all very pretty yeah, girls. Yeah, I'm not putting that in. <laughs> you, can't, you can't just go out and make this kind of no, no. accusation. It's, 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 Thomas just likes to hang out with girls more than guys, lah. And I'm one of those rare it's guys. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> What, what are you trying to say? <laughs> no, but no, no, no. okay. No, it's just you suddenly ask me that I cannot think. Okay, I think. No. I give you time to think. When I hang out with guys, it's usually always in groups. Like you won't go and hang out with a group of girls, right? Because you're one guy. You would. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you hang out with guys usually mostly in groups, right? No, I go with Chris one on one, right? I go with even one on one. I go with you one on one. You gay. <laughs> <laughs> You know what my parents think you do right? if I don't call you or like if we don't hang out right? They, this is what they told me right? they said they imagine you sitting on the couch watching TV with a remote on your left and your handphone on the right. Then the moment just waiting we, for yeah, Thomas yeah, just to waiting call for me. me to call you. The moment the phone rings, you're like, okay, let's go out. My whole life just revolves around Yeah, Thomas. because I told them we were going to Taiwan, right? Yeah. They was like, I just gave you a call. I was like, dude, let's go somewhere. Yeah. Then you're like, okay, down, let's go. Yeah. Then because I'm I, the only stupid friend that would do this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah. Then I think they didn't really understand this kind of concept. Right. So they're like, ah, this guy must be nothing better than. <laughs> there are people here with gaming pads, gloves. Uh, like all the professional kind of like card holders and everything, it's, it's pretty insane. And it's starting soon. Everyone has to open the packs at the same time so that no one cheats and puts in any extra cards. They're given 30 minutes to construct their decks. They open up like their basic cards and then they have four booster packs. They have to make a 40 card deck out of all the cards that they have. So it's quite a bit of luck on what kind of good cards they get in your packs, but so this like strategizing phase. It's quite interesting to see how passionate everyone is about this. Alright, we're two games in. Alright, two games ended. 
<laughs> and I won boom yes! <laughs> it's insane. Eh? And, and the fact that the second guy, right, was the guy who helped him construct this deck. <laughs> and so he won bad. the guy. <laughs> So you you know you're basically Ash Ketchum, right? It's like the people who like help you in the end, you have to fight them, yeah. because they turn bad. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he just won all three games. Now a lot of, basically people are explaining to me how because it's pre-release, so a lot of it is based on luck. But it also makes this whole thing very, very like new, like beginner friendly. Like people who are coming into the game have a high chance of winning. Oh my God, five, oh. We have another YouTube video right here! <laughs> Which are more important? Uh, we just opened like 6 packs because we want 6 packs. How much would you, how much would these cards cost? I'm curious. Gardevoir is, Gardevoir is 20 bucks. How much is this? Dark right? Dude, would you sell the Gardevoir here? Dude, you can basically do this for me too. I think! <laughs> Anybody want Gardevoir? <laughs> I don't know how much it's worth. Okay, okay, you know what I Beat, beat! We're going for 20! Thank you! $20? $20? The day now I officially can tell my mother I made money playing Pokemon. You made it again! <laughs> I honestly didn't expect today to be as fun <laughs> as it was. I thought I was just coming down to see something new. But honestly, the community is pretty darn cool. And like the epic end to everything. The thing is, I, I specifically told Thomas, no, let's open it in a shop because in case someone wants to buy our card. Oh yeah, so and true. And and behold. So true. <laughs> okay, for reals, I paid $40 to enter the tournament. I could have earned more, but I already profited $5 and mm. I get to keep all the cards I already mm. have. And you made new friends. Man. And I made new friends. Zam. Yeah. So nothing, nothing beats earning new friends. Yeah. Other than the forty-five dollars in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs>